Um, okay, uh, maybe I did have time for that other one after all. Um, how about I just do it without so much talking beforehand and then um, I think I have time. Yeah, this is a, this is a poem about bodies and uh, you know, mo most, most love songs are all about, I love your body, it has a comfortable place to put my genitals. This is a bit different. I love your body, the way it keeps you alive, the way it lets you touch me, the way it lets us communicate, the way it gives you pleasant sensations. I don't love its flaws, the way it hurts you, the way it makes you sick, the way it makes you tired, the way it can't do the things that you want it to. But I love that you have it so that I can have you because brains need energy and there's no ESP that would show you to me. I love your body. I hope it takes care of you and you of it for a love filled lifetime. So that's a nice poem about, you know, not treating your partner's body like a, like a piece of meat. Uh, but then I ruined it by writing a second verse or a parody or something. Um, by the way, there's a song version of this uh, with Joey Mariana on my album. Anyway, I love your body, the way it feels like silk, the way it looks good naked, the way it smells like your perfume, the way it tastes so good in a casserole. I don't love its flaws, the way its flesh resists my knife, the way its bones don't decompose, the way it won't fit in my freezer, the way it's leftovers putrefied and made my neighbor suspicious and she tipped off the police and there was a highly publicized trial and now I'm in prison for life. But I love that you had it so that I could have you because brains need energy and there's no KFC with home delivery. I love your body. I hope to hold it forever and think of you with a love-filled belly.